Hey, what's going on guys? This is Strong Arm. I'm your friendly neighborhood DIY mechanic. Today, we're gonna be working on a 2005 Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi. This is my 2005 Ram 1500. I'm gonna be doing several videos to get this vehicle back running great and looking great again. This is the second video in the series that I'm doing on my 2005 Dodge Round 1500. Um, this vehicle is having a stall issue. Um, basically, when I come to a stop at a stop sign or a red light, the vehicle wants to stall, and sometimes it actually does stall. Okay, I have my code reader connected. So um, we're gonna check and see if there's any code store. Um, exhaust gas recirculation control circuit range performance so when I researched this code um, it hinted that I was gonna need to replace the EGR valve which is right there so I went out to the uh, local auto store and got a new EGR valve that we're gonna be um, putting on here today and see if that fixes our issue. Okay, the first thing we have to do is take off this air box. So it has three clips holding it together. So we're gonna remove these clips. Okay, and we lift up on the Top portion of the air box. And we have to take this hose off. And then with a flathead screwdriver. gonna take the air tube off of the other air box. We have to wiggle this around a little bit and get the top portion off. Okay now the bottom half of the air box just lifts out. And now we have access to the EGR valve. Okay, the first thing you're supposed to do is disconnect the wire harness from the EGR valve. Okay, now that I have the um, air box out of the way, I'm able to access the EGR valve. Um, there's two bolts um, connecting it to the um, EGR tube. So you wanna spray some loosening agents on those two bolts because they are prone to breaking. So you have to remove these two bolts.
okay once you have those bolts removed just set, um, lean the EGR tube off to the side Okay, and on the face of the EGR valve, you have two 10 millimeter bolts that you have to take off. ended up having to get a shorter extension to reach off in here for the second bolt. Okay, now the EGR valve has been completely removed. Okay, these are the um, EGR valves. This is the old valve that I just removed from the vehicle. And this is the new one. Okay, this is a five fit five pin and the new one is also a five pin so I have the new EGR valve and I'm putting this thing together I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in so everything lines up before I attempt to uh, put it back on the vehicle This should make the process a little bit easier. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get these started um, by hand. And then I'll use my you need. then I'm gonna use the uh, socket and ratchet to go ahead and tighten it back to 20 foot pounds.
Okay, now that I have the EGR valve back on, I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the EGR tube. Okay. Once the EGR valve is back in place, go ahead and reconnect the EGR tube to the EGR valve. Gonna get these started by hand. Now you're gonna re tighten these down to 20 foot pounds, just like the other bolts. Once the EGR tube is back in place, reconnect the harness. Make sure it clicks. Then you push the safety pin back in place. After that, I'm going to replace, replace the air tube. Don't forget the, the tube. Okay. Hey guys, as you can see, I cleared the um, check engine light with the code reader and um, I took it out on a 10 minute test drive and the engine light didn't come back on. I have several more videos that I'll be doing. So please hit that like button and um, subscribe to my channel. It'll be greatly appreciated.